it's like the age-old uh, juxtaposition of, of physiotherapists and chiropractors mm -hmm. and the uh, the juxtaposition created by uh, religions and things mm -hmm. like that is if we look at yeah. the the end result uh, which is performance mm -hmm. uh, we should actually see every paradigm that we enter as opportunities mm -hmm. to create performance so yeah, what, what exactly. can I learn from an applied kinesiologist who seems to be so exactly. far out there but you know he might have one little piece of the puzzle or she might have one piece of the puzzle and that's that all I you're need. doing you know yeah. that's and again at the Olympic level it's different from most people who will watch this but at the Olympic level, half a percent is the difference between fourth and gold. Yes, exactly. It's anonymous versus legend. Yeah. And if you can find that half a percent in five different areas, each of which gives you point one, yeah, because yeah. you've seen a kinesiologist and a physiotherapist and a dietitian and a sports, yeah. well then why would you say no? Exactly. And so that's that's the that's the mind shift that certainly I think exists. I think it's been made here by more people in South Africa. We haven't made it, oh, okay. but that's that's what needs to happen. But Anywhere in the world, when you look at good sports science for performance, it's always driven by the coach and what he recognizes is needed by the athlete. Like a, a, a really seemingly arbitrary example is I was in Beijing recently and the, the United Kingdom guy spoke and you know they had this amazing Olympic Games. Yeah. And a lot of that was down to how well they delivered sports science to their teams. Yes, yes. And the one example that was given there was that their boxing coaches recognized that out of a 365 day year, they were losing 40 days of injury because the guys had bruised knuckles oh, wow. so a simple experiment was to put pressure sensors on all the knuckles yeah measure the boxer during a session see where the pressure was greatest then they worked on new taping techniques that yeah. would, would protect De the knuckles at highest uh, yeah. pressure and all of a sudden those 40 days dropped down to 20 days and so they effectively using science bought themselves 20 days so. of training out of 365 that's huge that's a five percent more training that's yeah. That's and that's epic. the difference again yeah. like if you're talking half a percent is that not going to make that difference yeah, yeah so it's a simple thing the coaches saw the problem the scientists had a way to answer it and they delivered and that's exactly what people should look for and it doesn't mean going to a university environment it's yeah it's just you can do this yourself you know? yes exactly you can yeah. play with hydration strategies yeah uh, maybe you feel bloated when you run try drink less for example yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and your optimal weight for race for example. Yeah, yeah.